Hello everyone and welcome to another NCADET video, the first one in 2024. Imagine that you are about to rent a house for your family. You are thrilled because the house has everything that you always have dreamed of. It's beautiful with three bedrooms, two toilets, one living room and a fully equipped kitchen. It's the perfect place to live. Now imagine that your landlord shares you based on the city, the floor, the number of external windows, the number of rooms and the square meters. What is normal? And then you pay to the landlord the fee that you had to pay. But when you receive the invoice, there is a surprise. Your landlord charges you for every time that you move from your room to the toilet and every time that you move from the kitchen to the living room. And you say, but why would you are doing that? He justified that saying that when moving from the point A to the point B, you are using the floor space. And of course, you complain and appeal because firstly, he's monitoring everything that you do in the house that you rented. So this person knows where you are and this person is checking all the time what you are doing in this house. And secondly, because you already paid for the entire house. So you don't need to pay when you go to A to B because this is the house that you pay. You take the matter and go to the core and of course, you win. And this is normal that you win this case. This is a scenario for everyone sounds like a joke, but daily is happening in the cloud. Every day, all the companies has to pay to all the cloud providers like AWS, Google Cloud or Azure fees only because they are using the space. Fees because they want to do an egress or an egress and because they want to move data, for example, for a machine that is in an ability zone to another machine that is in another ability zone. Sound crazy? but it's like that. According to the 2023 DevOps report, nearly 80% of the companies are in the public cloud. That means that four of five companies are affected by this daily scan. Recently, Google announced that they have eliminated egress fees when you exit their cloud, allowing companies to leave for free. Typically, every cloud provider charges you if you want to leave. Let's think in another case. Imagine that you have to pay, for example, $200 or $2,000 to Gmail because you want to change Gmail to another email provider. You are thinking, I am not going to pay that. This is a scan. But here is something that happened every day. When Basecan, for example, left AWS, they had to pay between $300,000 and $400,000 just to take the data out. Initially, cloud providers allow you free data ingress. And the reason is simple. They allow you to introduce your data inside the cloud. But when you are inside the cloud, then you need to pay when you want to leave the cloud. And even this is not the main problem. The main problem is that the cost is unpredictable. You have no idea how much you're going to pay because everything depends on the region, everything depends on the size and depends on many, many things. So it's impossible to understand how big is going to be your invoice every month. This practice is one of the biggest scans in the history. Cloudflare study shows that 7.5% to 27% of all the cloud provider chargers come from the data transfer, amounting to billions of dollars annually. And when we say billion of dollars annually, we are talking about almost 68 billions. But they are not the only one who thinks that this is an scan. The European Union Data Act set to enforce in 2024 aims to facilitate easier switching between cloud providers by removing barriers like egress fees. And this is the reason because Google Cloud reduced to zero all the egress when you want to leave the cloud. And this is not the only point that the European Union is taking consideration because they are checking that all the egress fees that we have are reducing the possibility to the companies to be able to get more in the cloud. Until the European Union take actions, companies like Google, companies like Amazon and Microsoft are going to continue to do that. And we are going to have to pay these charges monthly. I hope that you enjoy and see you next week. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.